inspiring, as I hope you do. I would ask all of you to put your hand on your heart. Would you do that? And I have a question as you look at the ladies that are going to be coming through in this visual who are living their journeys. Now, my question is, if you listen to your heart, are you truly in touch with your heart's desires, your heart's wishes? And then the second question is, are you fully living your dreams? We live in a world in which it's possible to do anything, but it's not possible to do everything. So that careers become choices, and careers should be living out those desires in your heart, be living out your dreams. You are on a heroine's journey. If you don't understand what your heart desires, then you're at a disadvantage because the desire is part of what pulls you or pushes you. And a calling is a very powerful thing. A calling comes from you inside. And it comes from deep inside, which gives you that intrinsic foundation, that intrinsic motivation. And that is the, one of the great calls of adventure, is to do something that you create, like you've done, Kirsten, with Wynn. This is your baby, huh? And it's maturing and growing. Hasn't she done great with this? If you listen to a calling, the desire of your heart, it will be unique to you. It will be something you do that you create and that you nourish and that it matures. How many of you have failed? You were bleeding. You wanted to go deeper and deeper. Well, the message is that's part of a calling. You have to learn to like that. How many of you know that? You've been called internally or externally to a great adventure. Who's had that? All of you should have it at some point. Then comes that deep pain. In that valley of tears comes the importance of secure bases. Described in the hostage at the table book as well as the care to dare book, it's essential because the secure base gives you what? Number one, safety. How many of you know when you feel safe? Isn't that a wonderful feeling? How many of you know when you don't feel safe? You feel threatened. A heroine's journey is built around positivity, even at those darkest moments. And the secure bases are there. People, places, goals. There's a whole range of possibilities to give that feeling of safety. But what comes out of that is another thing. The feeling of security. Now, let's not stop at the Valley of Tears. It's the return of the heroine. It's that success that comes at the end of really pushing through, being resilient, being able to overcome the obstacles, having won the good battle, the good struggle, however many they are, to come back and say, yes, I have played to win. So the point I want to make is this. Start with the desire in your heart. Never lose that. Many men are simply living in a world of extrinsic motivation, and we see it destroying the world. Women tend to have a deeper connection to that intrinsic process. Always listen to your heart. It will always lead to some service. Who do I serve? Do I serve myself in a narcissistic way? Do I serve others? Do I deserve, des uh, serve the divine? What am I serving and who am I serving? And then ultimately coming through that so that the world becomes a better place because of your leadership. Leadership starts by leading yourself. And my message to you is make sure in leading yourself that you are living your calling. And my wish for all of you is to live all your dreams with full joy. Never, ever be a hostage to anyone, anything, or even to yourself. Thank you. Thank you.